Well, this was thanks to a Facebook insider uh, who came forward last week, uh, a former employee who um, uh, was alarmed by this censorship that, uh, Facebook, uh, that the New York Post suffered at the hands of Facebook. And he wanted to help us shed light on the people who are actually behind the mechanics of how stories get censored on, fa on Facebook. Um, and he shared with us uh, the full directory of the, of the people who work on this Orwellian named organization within Facebook uh, called Hate Speech Engineering. Most of them are based in Seattle. And as we learn, half of them are, uh, uh, so uh, I apologize, half a dozen of them are, at least half a dozen of them are Chinese nationals. Um, and so there's, that's such a, I mean, on the surface of it, it, it's alarming. But it's especially alarming because it's okay for tech workers to come from foreign countries. A lot of them want to settle here and become uh, uh, American citizens who share in the American dream. But as it is, many of them may not. Many of them may go back. So you wonder not only what expertise do they bring from the most censorious society on earth here, but then do they take their machine learning and algorithmic expertise back to help Xi Jinping uh, repress his own people? Well, exactly. I mean, this is not just any nation. And I think most people, even essentially immigration restrictionists like me, love to see immigrants come here and thrive and buy into the American idea. Of course we do. Every American loves that. But this is China. This is our main global rival. They consider us their main enemy. I mean, this seems like it has national security implications to me. I, I think it does. And another factor in, in all this is that they, um, uh, these people could uh, take back their expertise um, and uh, help their own people, uh, their own uh, Xi Jinping repress his own people. Yes. Has, has Facebook commented on this? I mean, there, there's such a, the, the symbolism in importing people from the most repressive big country on the, the planet to repress our population. I mean, what's, what's their explanation for this? Yeah, and especially, I mean, we brought up the fact that um, the stories that are getting reduced in circulation. We know what their explanation China, is. Right? Because Hunter Biden is alleged to have made uh, financial deals with Chinese energy firms. Um, and so what do they have to say about it? And they said, look, we, we are proud to have a company with people from Communist the Chinese um, nationals Chinese, uh, control the U.S. Facebook censor. Um, uh, shape policy are, um, are absurd. So they deny it. Give, give me the, qu I mean, hate speech is one of those terms that, you know, is entirely subjective. Your hate speech is, is my truth and vice versa. How do they define hate speech? Well, I mean, they have a, a, a broad set of guidelines of extremist views and so forth. But what the insider told me is that they actually are on the lookout for what they call uh, specifically uh, borderline content. And the whole goal is, is as you're surfing your news feed, there are certain things they consider borderline, borderline content. content which what apparently includes now New York is borderline content for the oldest newspaper in this country, which they then uh, uh, ensure that you see it last on your newsfeed, whereas there are other content that they want you to see for commercial reasons or whatever, and the same engineers, if they manage to get you to interact with it, will then get discretionary bonuses according to this insider. But given what we've seen in terms of how they treat the New York Post, which is a reputable newspaper, one of the largest newspapers in this country, it shows you hate speech engineering is a kind of Orwellian euphemism. Yeah, of course it is. Chuck, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Congrats on that scoop.